Prepare to be delighted. Because you're cordially invited. To the most splendid celebration. Tea, tea time at four. four. We chose you because you're special. So clever. And consequential. And, and we, we think, think that, that you, you might enjoy our banquet of desserts. Desserts. Sweets and treats and conversation. They can all be yours. If you accept our invitation. From Eliza. Jane. And George. Wow! A real life performance from the Tea Timers? You guys were incredible! Oh, thank you. My parents gave me dance classes. I'm very rich. But enough about me. Are you three interested in joining our little soiree? We'll be serving an enormous tiramisu cake that I baked myself, of course. Oh, yeah, we will totally be there. Oh, excellent. Then we'll see you tomorrow. Just remember, bring your finest formal wear. An exquisite appetizer. But most importantly... Your manners. Adieu! Man, they don't just give these out to anybody. I wonder why we got one. Oh, probably by mistake. I get invited to a lot of things that way. And then promptly asked to leave. Hey, sorry we're late. <sighs> I was ready on time, but Mortimer just had to go all out. Ah, there you three are. Welcome to the Tea Timers Club. Wow! Look at this place. <gasps> and look at that tiramisu! Wow, this party sure is full of VIPs. Presenting the Junior Forest Scouts. Troop Leader Jason. Secretary of Rules and Regulations, Tony. Forest Treasurer. All right, we're out of here. Craig, no, don't forget why we're here. Craig? Jason? <laughs> <laughs> JP, I think I figured out why they invited us to this tea party. Thank you, George. That's enough. Now, what kind of tea party would this be without a game of croquet? JP, you can play with Boris, and Craig, you can play with Jason. Huh? What? God, how in the world did I get stuck with you? Just try to stay out of my way. Come here. Whoa! Careful! You almost ripped my sewing badge. It's not on there very well. Listen, I know why the tea timers invited us here. Uh, yeah, for cake. Uh, no, look, they invite kids they know don't get along mm -hmm. so they can pit them against each other and watch them fight for fun. Sorry for getting pushy with you, Tushy. Tushy. <laughs> you said the word that I said. <laughs> and isn't it weird that no one has gotten cake yet? We're kids, you lead with cake. That is true. Look, we've had our disagreements. But right now, we have to work together if either one of us wants to get a slice of that cake. Hmm. You got a deal. Oh, <laughs> oh yeah! <laughs> My, that was quite a show, wasn't it? <laughs> yes, we worked up quite an appetite, didn't we, friend? Oh, yeah! I look forward to sharing this tiramisu with you, best buddy. Right, well, anyway, I'm so glad you're both getting along. I'm surprised you don't hang out more often. Oh, but maybe you do? I swear I saw Jason leaving Craig Stump. Oh, uh, what? You were at the stump? It was just a routine safety inspection. Remember when the ninja kids stink bombed the whole creek last summer? No, you don't, because guess who found their stockpile and reported them to the authorities? You're welcome. Oh, Craig, to have all your most precious items ruined, if only you could ruin something of Jason's, like his sash of badges. Jay, charge! I'm sorry, okay? These badges are all I got, please. Just like your maps, it's only fair. Now, remember, Craig, dismembering Jason's badges would be quite rude. I guess you'll have to choose. Cake or revenge. It's how? The cake is a fake, just like you. You invite kids here to fight each other for your own sick amusement. You never had any cake. No cake for me? On behalf of Miss Eliza, we'd like to invite you to the most... Oh, I can't do this again. Look, you're all invited to the first annual Tea Timers Ball. Now, if you'll excuse me, I must go deliver the rest of these invitations. You're, you're not going to dance or sing? 
Miss Eliza has invited everyone in the creek. Do you have any idea how much I sang and dance? Have a wonderful day. Why would the tea timers invite everybody in the creek to a dance? They must be up to something. I don't know, maybe they just want to show off. This ball is about getting revenge on me. I know it. Everyone needs to show their invitation to get in. Ugh, horses. Here you go, my good man. I got my eyes on you. Miss Eliza. Tell me what you're up to. Hey, it's Peanut Head. I know this whole party is just a front so you can get back at me. <laughs> Craig, you really think I'm so petty that I would do all of this just to get revenge on you for messing up one of my little tea parties? Well, <laughs> no, no, no. This party is for revenge on Sailor Boy for not inviting me onto his parents' yacht! What's that? No invitations? Well, that must hurt. A yacht. Daddy said I could only invite two friends. A boo I say. I don't understand. This wasn't about me. Spin me. You got it, baby. Cause I'm Toman, aka Spin Daddy, aka the Twist and Shout. Well, I was wrong. Liza never wanted revenge on me. I feel so rejected. Oh, it's okay, Craig. You've got plenty of other enemies who probably can't wait to take revenge on you. You're right! The creek is full of kids! I'm sure one of them has a vendetta against me!